Love is not perfect. It's not a fairy tale or storybook. It doesn't come easy. It's overcoming obstacles together. Most of all, it's realizing that everything you go through is worth it because you did it together. I think two people who get married come together for a reason. And I can't think of a better example than Matt and Bailey. They complement each other well and balance each other out. I can't imagine that it's easy to graduate, buy a house, and get married all in about two weeks. But they made it work. Jesus, he answered, have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female and said, therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one. What therefore God has joined together, let man not separate. husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual companionship, help, and support that each person ought to receive from the other, both in prosperity and adversity. Our Lord blessed and honored marriage with his presence and first miracle at Cana in Galilee. This estate is also commended to us by the Apostle Paul as good and honorable Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into inadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with, with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. For these reasons, God has established the holiest state that Matthew and Bailey wish to enter. They desire our prayers as they begin their marriage in the Lord's name and with his blessing. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and before his church to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is an honorable estate instituted and blessed by God in paradise before humanity's fall into sin. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I had the wonderful, uh, 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 enjoyable evening last night spending it with your, your friends. Um, uh, what was it? Kami, Shamey, <laughs> Lamey, Amy, and if I could call you Mamie, yeah. Um, what I found out about them, though, and what I found out about you is uh, the, this is the 13, love, love chapter, Corinthians 13, is what I see here, right? The love that you guys have for each other, growing up with each other, right, as, as school uh, chums, knowing, knowing this young man here since you were, what, four years old? Right, so that tells me that there's been a lot of love, uh, and, and and that is wonderful. That's a gift. And in talking with your soon-to-be father-in-law, he tells me that that love that you share with these guys and with your family carries over into how you treat Bailey. And we talked a little bit earlier about um, being uh, the right person. So it's not about finding the right person. Right? Because if, isn't it amazing that the only person you could spend your life with just happened to go to the same medical school that you did? Holy cow, right? Uh, how does that happen? Uh, I don't think it works that way. I think you find somebody that you can spend your life with, and then from this day forward, you are the right person. God joins you together today so that you can live your lives together as the right people for each other, living out that life of love and service to one another until death parts you. Bailey, I want you to say, Matthew, I need you. Matthew, I need you. Bailey, I'll be there. Bailey, I'll be there. Bailey, I have my faults. Bailey, I have my faults. Matthew, I will be forbearing. Matthew, I will be forbearing. Uh, Matthew, Dominic, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in, holy, in the holiest state of matrimony as God ordained it? Will you nourish and cherish her as Christ loved his body, the church, giving himself up for her, 
Will you love, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain united to her alone, so long as you both shall live, then say, I will. I will. Bailey J., will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holiest state of matrimony as God ordained it? Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain united to him alone, so long as you both shall live, and say, I will. I will. Parents, I ask you, uh, do you give your consent and blessing to this couple and say we do? We do. Will you pray for and encourage Matthew and Bailey in, in their marriage, uh, remembering at all times that God wills them to live within their vows until they are parted by death, then say we will. We will. We will. I, Matthew Dominic, I, Matthew Dominic, take you, Bailey J. Take you, Bailey J. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. And I pledge you my faithfulness. And I pledge you my faithfulness. I, Bailey J. I, Bailey J. Take you, Matthew Dominic. Take you, Matthew Dominic. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death parts us. Till death parts us. According to God's holy will. According to God's holy will. And I pledge you my faithfulness. And I pledge you my faithfulness. Almighty Father, you have graciously created all things to serve us for our good. Send your blessing upon uh, this couple who will wear these rings as a constant reminder of their marital fidelity. Grant that by your mercy they may live gladly and faithfully in this holy estate. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. With this ring I marry you. With this ring I marry you. My worldly goods I give to you. My worldly goods I give to you. And with my body I honor you. And with my body I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With this ring I marry you. With this ring I marry you. My worldly goods I give to you. My worldly goods I give to you. And with my body I honor you. And with my body I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now that Matthew and Bailey have committed themselves to each other in holy matrimony, have given themselves to each other by their solemn pledges, and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them to be husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his peace now and always. Amen. You may kiss your bride. I just want to say congratulations, Bailey and Matt. This has been a most perfect day been a joy to be here. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So growing up, I think I spent probably every single significant moment of life right alongside Bailey. Um, proms, graduations, dance classes, every sport. Um, it's It's been so incredible to get a front row seat 
to all the amazing accomplishments that this girl has done, <laughs> truly has. But Dr. Bailey, you are the most intelligent, caring, just socially amazing person I know. I love you with all my heart, and I am so lucky to know you. And I never thought <laughs> anybody would be good enough for you. And then we met Matt Macariello, the Italian boy from New York. <laughs> Matt, I'm so thankful that you and Bailey have each other, and I know that you are a perfect complement to each other, and I'm so grateful, so grateful. I watched my little brother graduate from medical school a couple weeks ago. And today I get to watch him marry his best friend and my new little sister too. Me and Nick stayed in New York for college and Matt went to Virginia. Obviously those decisions paid off though. His decisions definitely led him to Bailey, which brought him to all of us here today. Shortly after I met Jake and Bailey met Matt, we were talking about our boyfriends as best friends do. I remember saying that I thought Jake could be something special. I remember her reaction was not at all what I expected. She said, Kel, you never know when it could be love. To me, I knew that when she said that, something special was happening for her and Matt. I knew that my best friend had met the man that would make her step away from calm and rational and take a leap. Her telling me to take the risk showed me that she had truly fallen in love with Matt I could not have chosen a better guy for you, Bailey. Matt truly treats her the way she deserves. He is always there to support her and push her at the best and worst of times. You wonder why things happen. Why would Matt want to travel hundreds of miles away to go to school? But if Matt hadn't gone away to school, he would never have met Bailey. And we wouldn't be here today. Everything happens for a reason, as my mom would say. Anyway. The added perk is that Bailey would bring home pounds and pounds of meat home for us. What a dream it is for a little brother like me. And lastly, I just wanted to wish you guys endless happiness and love. So let's raise our glasses to the new married couples.